Now, okay, so we're back to the 50 year old. They've got $200,000 that they want to throw into Bitcoin. Right. You are specifically looking at, at Bitcoin from a technical analysis perspective, correct? Oh, I look at Bitcoin from multiple perspectives, right? Okay. So I synthesize information, technicals, fundamentals, macro. Okay. That's kind of my brand. Do you have a price point for Bitcoin in five years? Uh, I don't have one in five years, but, you know, I have as high as 250K by February of next year. And as high as 150k by October, and Ooh, that's based are, on those on, and that's based on all all of your perspectives rolled into one. That's your analysis, yes. right? In other words, you know, I talked to Chat GBT about a couple things, right? Mm -hmm. There's 17 trillion in U.S. bank deposits. You know, what happens if one percent of that flows into Bitcoin over six months? That's like 86k. Okay. Uh, the pension system's got 56 trillion. What happens if 1% of that money comes in over a six month period? Mm -hmm. That's, you know, a much higher number. You know, I did something basically saying if, if a dollar, if a dollar in Bitcoin is better than a dollar in the bank and there's kind of a parabolic run up in Bitcoin, mm -hmm. you know, like a super cycle or a mini super cycle, for example, you know, like, Bill, what's a super cycle? Well, back in the day in 1982, right, that was the, the Reagan Volcker bottom. Mm -hmm. And you had a super cycle for five years right? where equities went up 300%. So I'm like, all right, well, let's, let's say Bitcoin repeats that in five months because anybody who's listening to this, let me give you a tip. Whatever it takes equities, especially in, in historically, whatever took five years in legacy or traditional finance, Bitcoin could do in five months. So if Bitcoin pulls an 80s go-go move and there's going to be an event in October and there is going to be an event in October, you know, you, you could be looking at six-figure Bitcoin by October. There is going to be an event in an event in October, not by October. No, in, in, in October, just as sure as God made little apples. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any idea what the event is going to be? <clears throat> okay. Well, that's a good question. So the the guy the guy who pioneered this analysis, Chris Carolyn, wrote a book called The Spiral Calendar. Uh, he actually won an award from Barron's in '98 for the paper. I've got the book, so we can break it down as to what happens when you have two solar eclipses in one year. Okay, you get a crash. Yeah. Now, how do you get equities to crash when <laughs> one everyone's already bearish, <laughs> so bearish they can't see straight? Two, a dollar in stocks minus the banks is better than a dollar in the bank, mm -hmm. right? So what would what would create an event in legacy of the caliber that like, say, Ray Dalio was betting on? Well, that's got to be like multiple things at once, like 2001. It's got to yeah. be a geopolitical event, mm -hmm. okay, which is possible as I as discussed. You're going to have to have maybe a weather event like a hurricane that disturbs gasoline supplies in Houston. Okay. And then you're going to have to have something in legacy that comes out of nowhere. One possibility could be that we find out that every, every gold bar has 10 owners. And the people who are most exposed to that are the big banks that clear positions for COMEX. The but gold 